with the new library, there's now a community space where everyone from any subject can all study together. And especially the downstairs foyer um, is a great place to have lunch and meet up with people from other courses as opposed to staying in your own individual buildings up to now. It's nice kind of having the fresh study space, the modern space, the downstairs area with the benches is really nice for grabbing lunch and also having the group study rooms. We book, like we book the study rooms quite a lot and um, go study there and it's really helpful. Before we never really had any place on campus to study and revise uh, but now the group study rooms have made a big difference for our group projects to meet up and work over there. Uh, before we had to find that once KB closed down at 5 o'clock we had to go down to George Square and then find somewhere there to study but now it's much more convenient when we're up here we can just go to the library and study over there especially in groups. It's a little bit exciting, uh, there's something shiny and new. Uh, it's also a, it's a great place central in terms of the campus to meet with other people as well. And uh, just one other point, I mean this, this was funded in part by donations from members of staff, certainly from some alumni. Is that something that you think is a good idea? Is that something that you would consider doing yourself? Yes, yeah, I think it's a great idea to, um, you know, to network with alumni and utilise that. I mean, I know that if I was successful, I would donate back to the university because it did, it, you know, it gave me the groundwork to go and, and have that success. It's a fantastic donation to make because it's making a big difference to a lot of students. Um, as you, you can see, it's busy all the time. There's always students using it, so it's definitely a very helpful donation to make. And if I could, I really would. If it is something that people are able to do financially, I think it's a very good use of money. This production is brought to you by the University of Edinburgh.